Hi, this is John McField, agronomist for Pioneer, with the third video in a series discussing grain sorghum off-type plants. In this video, I will discuss non-rhizome forming grassy type outcrosses. In the last video, I explained how sorghums of different types are capable of cross-pollinating and producing offspring. One of the most offensive of these outcrosses is known as the non-rhizome forming grassy type outcross shown here. Most producers would refer to these type plants as shatter cane, and they are certainly non-desirable for obvious reasons. This outcross is the result of either sedan grass or shatter cane pollen drifting into a commercial seed field. Pollen from these types has been known to travel several miles and cross-pollinate seed production fields. When this happens, the seed is indistinguishable from normal grain sorghum, and the only way to know if the seed was contaminated is by performing winter growouts. For comparison purposes, I have shown here behind me the rhizome forming grassy type that we discussed in the last video. For comparison, note the difference in size of the plants and the fact that the non-rhizome type has produced viable seed. These non-rhizome producing grassy outcrosses are offensive because of their ability to produce seed, which readily shatters from the head and certainly will grow back the following year. While technically not true shatter cane, these are for all practical purposes one and the same and should be managed accordingly. Because of this, Pioneer production standards are extremely stringent and we have a zero tolerance policy for these type of outcrosses. If found in a commercial production field, it is highly recommended that producers rogue these plants out prior to letting them produce seed. Here's a little more information growers may find interesting. Early work on sedan grass in the United States was done to select for a seed type that simply had a lighter colored seed coat to make it distinguishable from true shatter cane. Very few seed companies offer true sedan grass products because of the potential to produce volumes of the invasive volunteer seed. With these true sedan grass products, it is recommended that they are never left to head out and produce seed. They should be swathed for hay long before heading out. Many seed companies offer a sorghum sedan cross hybrid, which does not possess the ability to produce high seed amounts with the protective black glooms and the shattering characteristic. For Pioneer Hybrid, this has been John Mick. Thanks for watching today. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.